Many months ago, we introduced you to Steve. Steve works at the GTN Megabase doing uh, something on a computer. All those months ago, over a beer, Steve did something pretty silly. He suggested he'd like to qualify the Ironman World Champs in Hawaii. Steve had recently turned the big 5-0 and uh, let himself go a bit. And in his own words, I feel like I'm starting from square one again. But at GTN, we never shy away from a challenge. Uh, I mean, we're always out to help. And so, with thanks to our friends at Human Go for making this series possible, Project Hawaii 5.0 was born. Well, that was nine months ago now, and we've come a long way. We have carved and chiseled the perfect triathlon machine out of Steve. Well, we've made him fitter and better prepared for his race anyway. And it's about time to put all that hard work into practice as Steve goes head to head with all the other 50 to 54 year olds to get that coveted Kona start ticket. We're going to catch up with Steve in a moment and see how he's doing. But first we thought we'd run you through how far Steve has come and all the things we've helped him with along the way. First, we set Steve up with a training plan. But not just any training plan, a training plan with an AI helper in the form of Human Go. Human Go is a unique platform designed to improve athletic performance. By using the latest in artificial intelligence, Human Go analyzes an athlete's data immediately when it's uploaded to optimize their long-term fitness gains. The virtual coaching assistant at the heart of the AI translates each new data point as it is uploaded and coordinates it with the athlete's scheduling, preferences, and feedback to make real-time adjustments to your training program, with or without the input from the athlete's coach. Then we helped him out with his swim, with some stroke correction and some form goggles so he could follow his training plan easily in the water. We also sorted out his bike setup and fixed his saddle issues, with a little help from our friends at Salitalia. We dialed his nutrition and tested his sweat rate with the help of our friends at Precision Fuel and Hydration. And we helped him out with some strength and conditioning program because that's important when you're a little, um, older. I mean, it's important for everyone, but more so when you're over the big 5-0. Well, it's been quite a journey just to get here, and the race itself hasn't even happened yet. And that's before you consider that Steve might actually qualify for Kona, in which case he's just starting that journey. And this journey would just be the beginning of that journey. We might just be entering the end of the beginning of the journey. Anyway, let's go catch up with Steve and see how he's doing. All right, Steve, how are we doing? You yeah. lost, uh, lost preparations on your bike there? Yeah, good, so thank you. Just, ready to uh, go? Yeah, last few tweaks. Okay, uh, well, we'll help you make sure your bike is all sorted. It does look pretty good. Uh, before we do, let's just chat a little bit about how far you've come. Do you want to sit down yeah, yeah, for sure. a second? Firstly, it's been a long journey, but you started this journey with the goal to qualify for Kona, of course, but the real goal was actually to get your lifestyle back on track after COVID and everything else that got you, let's say, a little bit off track uh, as far as health and fitness goes. So before you've even started the race, is it mission accomplished? I think it is, yeah. I was just literally talking about this with my wife the other day and we'd worked out that from turning 50 to another month away from 51, I think this could be my fittest year ever. Since the since we signed up to the uh, the deal in the pub, I'll take that as a mission accomplished. Yes. Then definitely. <laughs> <laughs> well, it wasn't just us at GTN that helped you though. You also assisted along the way with Humango, an AI trainer who kind of adjusted and oversaw your training and helped uh, structure it to fit in your lifestyle. How has it been uh, trusting technology and a an AI when you are, let's say, five <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll glide past that one, that <laughs> comment. Um, it, it was good actually, initially, because of obviously the, 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 the decrepit uh, age that I've reached. <laughs> I didn't say that um, word. <laughs> there, there was a worry that, you know, what am I, what am I trusting here? Yeah. You know, is it gonna, you know, is it gonna work? It, you know, I'm, I'm not very really fit. Am I gonna hurt myself or all this stuff? But as I, I think, as I gained, maybe my fitness increased, my confidence increased, then I got, then I was sort of trusting it. And then, um, then it became, yeah, really helpful just knowing that all I had to do was just follow the program. So 
yeah, it was a journey in itself, but <laughs> but I'm 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 on board. I'm wow. I'm a convert. So not only did you get younger and fit, we also got you more in tune with the way the world is going with AR. It's like a double so, bonus, honestly. Yeah, My life's really. improved in all areas. <laughs> <laughs> well, it hasn't all been smooth sailing, though. What has the biggest challenge been in this whole journey to the start line, uh, assuming that the race itself will be the toughest part of the journey to the finish line? Um, I think it was just its lifestyle adjustment. I mean, you know, you said the same. You, you know, everybody said the same. The challenge will be. You know, once that honeymoon period's over and you've got, you know, you've passed the excitement of signing up for the race and getting all help from you guys and everything's early and new, you know, 5:30 a.m. raining, going out for a two-hour run. That's that's uh, starts being a bit of a harsh. grind. <laughs> yeah. So so that was difficult, and then also just balancing, uh, yeah, that around family life and seeing mates. I mean. Yeah, there has to be some sacrifice of the yeah. the lifestyle, the sedentary lifestyle, if you're going to have the fit lifestyle. Definitely. <laughs> All right. Well, the race looms now, the big race of the 50 to 54 category. Have you looked at the competition? Have you looked at results from last year? What it would require to actually get this coveted Kona slot? Uh, I haven't. I can't get past the elevation on the ride, to be honest. Um, <laughs> all joking aside, I know it's quite a competitive age group. For, for initially coming into it, I thought, well, they're all they're all old, they're all kind of they're all my age. But it turns out there's a lot of very very fast 50, <laughs> 50 to fifty five year olds. So, no doubt. Um, and I saw a bit of that in Challenge Wales. I could mm -hmm. I could sort of sense that there was um, there's some people that don't mess about. Yeah. But that's fine, you know. Um, uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm aware of the level of um, of some of the athletes, but to be honest, I'm 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 okay with that. I don't find that intimidating. I just yeah. think it's all part of the the, the experience. Also, when we started this journey, it was kind of this Ironman Ireland will be the last one of the last qualifiers. There'll be not many people scrambling for slots six weeks out from the World Champs, and you can maybe catch a roll down. As it turns out. They moved the men's world championships to Nice, yeah. so now this is qualifying for 2024, and you are literally one of the first events <laughs> for qualifying. Yeah. And there are only 20 slots for 2024 yeah. too, so you've really uh, given yourself quite the challenge here this time. Uh, well, I think you should still go for it though. I will still cross our fingers yeah. for you. Um, anything might happen. Okay, one more thing that I wanted to ask you was: uh, Have we completely prepared you? Or are you still a little bit anxious about one or two things? Is there anything that's playing on your mind going into the race? Or has GTN just done a superb job of getting you fully prepared? Um, well, first of all, you guys have been amazing. And I, I'm not sure I could, I would be sitting here if it wasn't for your, your, <laughs> your, your help. So in terms of that, that's been very good. I mean, in terms of, am I ready? You know, I, I, literally 10 minutes ago, I just said, I'm in, I'm in a taper at the moment. And that just feels wrong. I'm just I'm thinking oh should I just do one last long run just in case no. yeah and so <laughs> so I think I've done everything that I should have to the best of my ability the hard work now is up to you so uh, there's not more we can do as coaches or or helpers uh, it's now just about you and race day uh, I will say before you head off uh, we're gonna make sure your bike's okay I will say uh, make sure you remember to enjoy your day out there it's not all about uh, <laughs> results and performance it's also just about this is the reward for all the hard yeah. work and all those getting yourself out of bed early in the morning for two hour runs yeah okay yeah. let's sort out your back and we'll get you on the road yeah cool all right steve well that's it i think your bike's all squared away i've also got this for you a little bit of uh extra free speed in the gtn colors could be the too. difference it could be the difference it could be the thing that gets you there thank you very much uh, yeah i'll look after um, this Oh, yeah, don't crash. No. <laughs> uh, okay, I think I'll leave you with one last piece of advice. This is my standard advice for anyone doing an Ironman. If you're feeling good, you're probably going too hard. So slow down and eat and drink. And if you're feeling bad, the way to get out of it is to slow down and eat and drink. <laughs> And I'll leave that with you so, and give you those so Thank that you. you can slow down and eat and drink. Great advice. Have a good day and we'll see you when you get back. Cheers, mate. Good luck, Steve. See you soon. Yeah, we've been, uh, I think we've walked about 7K today. I was meant to do a run yesterday or today. 
kind of glad I didn't because today's been quite tiring. So we've been walking up and down this Cork hill. hill. It's Cork, Cork. Cork Hill. Steep. Yeah, up and down to transition with the bike. So yeah, we're going to go back, chill out a bit, watch a movie, and uh, maybe have a party. Maybe have a party until <laughs> at least 6 p.m. <laughs> So yeah, we'll uh, see how that pans out. Okay, so this room's been halved for the weather, so from 3.8 to 1.9, which is obviously devastating news. Um, but yeah. Bye, darling. Have fun. Oh. Hold on, Steve. All right, it's been a few days since Steve was officially crowned an Iron Man. How are those legs feeling, Steve? Are you walking normally yet? I'm feeling good. A couple of blisters, just healing, but all good. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Can you sum up your Iron Man in three words for us? I can. I think um, epic, challenging, and very Celtic. I would say. That's good very way of Celtic. It. Yeah. Yeah. Well, go on, elaborate yeah. slightly on that one. I know we just said three words, but um, I want to know what you. Weather. Yeah. Um, atmosphere. Okay. What well, lots of Guinness drinking or a bit of that post race, but the the, the people, very sort of uh, good crowds, good crowds. Yeah. So that leads us on, like what. The highs and the lows. Like, what were your highest points? Well, I, I just want to hear about the race, really, because I haven't. I've been waiting till now to ask you. So there were highs and lows. Um, the I've made so many rookie errors. Everything I you've made that you've so many all friends. said. <laughs> I did actually make a few friends. Oh, of course. Nice. Yeah. Um, but yeah, everything that you all advised on and. I forgot everything, so <laughs> great. Like, like you had quite a while to remember it as well. I know I did. So, yeah, <laughs> thirteen hours turns out. You can lead a horse um, to water. Huh? <laughs> so for, I took my timing chip off for some reason uh, in T two, and then ran away without it to come back for it. I pressed pause. I've never heard that. <laughs> Nor have I. I've never heard that actually. Um, but there's a reason because I was concerned about my knees, so I thought I need to put my. Uh, calf sleeves on, yeah, okay. but they couldn't fit it over the timing chip. Anyway, left the timing chip, had to come back for it. I paused on T1 on my watch and then realised halfway through the run that I was still in transition one. It was good. Um, it wasn't on Strava. It was not on Strava, it's still not on Strava. Um, uh, maybe in the run, my nutrition, I accidentally picked up a Red Bull from the stage, I mean, from the, the feed, easy feed zone. to get confused with something else, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, very, yeah. Um, and then that just basically ruined the second half of my run because oh. I just it was just repeating on me constantly. So I went into this kind of walk-run rhythm. I mean, the course is incredible, you know. I, I've definitely learned that all, all Ironman distance races are not the same. Mm. Um, that was a shocker. Um, 
but no, it's just so many things. It was a great experience. Yeah, really good day. Brilliant. Awesome. It's probably, probably important for us to note as well. There was uh, uh, some drama as well at Ironman Cork. Um, uh, two people unfortunately died during the swims. Um, incredible tragedy and so our condolences do go out to the families we've discussed it on our gtn show um but yeah not to take away from your incredible performance on which note how about the, the slot for kona slot for kona not mine oh. unfortunately this year um it was close i was 30 places out unfortunately um <laughs> They, it's close. <laughs> really there. Yeah. I mean, if I mean, it wasn't optimistic. for that Red Bull, you would have been. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what, Red Bull owe me a Kona ticket. <laughs> well, um, yeah, no, it was, it was an interesting, um, yeah, the, the slot allocation was actually quite interesting. It wasn't quite how I thought it would sort of play out. Um, but yeah, there were two spaces per age group and they were just snapped up instantly. Um, so, but no. And, and we actually discussed it, I, I think, your year, this year that you're trying to qualify more than ever, people are trying to grab that spot because it's potentially the last year. Yeah. But we don't know. It might, because it will be for Kona. Yeah. People are trying to grab that because it's an opportunity. They don't know when it might be. Yeah. They're going to say, yeah, tough one. Absolutely. Yeah. Are you entering another? What's, what, have you done anything since? Um, I've, I've done a lot of soul searching since in, in Ireland, in the back of a camper van, with a few Guinnesses. in various bars around yeah. the country. The, the whole point of this was like to get me back into a rhythm and I definitely feel I don't, I don't want to just like stop again. Um, full distance Ironman, don't know, maybe, maybe some short ones. <laughs> nail, but, um, nail a half and then maybe go back up. Yes, I, th I think I've done it the wrong way around. It, I realised that on the run, actually. Um, but no, it was, yeah, no, I, I love it. It was, it was a great, great experience. I'm still totally, you know, motivated to carry on. Brilliant. Well, I guess just to finish off, thank you very much for not only sharing your journey with us, but also the viewers and allowing us just to get involved and help you out because we've thoroughly enjoyed this. And also, obviously, to Humango for helping you through this and having that training plan to follow, which has uh, saved us a little bit of work, um, I'm not going to lie. But, um, yeah, you've done a fantastic job, so very well done, and, um, yeah, really enjoyed it. No, Congratulations. It's, yeah. No, it's a pleasure. I must say to you guys, I mean, it was just pipped under 13 hours, which is I'm really pleased with, but it, it definitely wouldn't have been a 13 if it wasn't Aww. a few months, so it probably would have been a 1-5, so thanks for your help, really no, appreciate it. We needed the hard work, well in. done. <laughs> no more, just one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, cheers. Yeah, cheers. Yeah, congrats. Well done. Cheers. You're a <laughs>